In chapter 50 of Moby Dick, Stubb and Flask disagree about whether a man with one leg should be on a whaling boat at all. Ishmael considers whether the Pequod's owners would approve of a maimed man engaging in a dramatic hands-on whale hunt, and personally decides they would probably not. That must be why Captain Ahab brought his men on secretly. The owners of the Pequod clearly had no idea Ahab would sneak on his own small crew of men. He also notes the crew were also surprised at this turn of events, but quickly grew used to it, as Fadala's men integrated easily into the rest of the crew. In Chapter 51 of Moby Dick, weeks pass, and one night, Fadala, who is keeping watch, sees a silvery jet that indicates the presence of a whale. The crew gets ready to deploy the whale boats and waits tensely for confirmation. But although every sailor says they saw it one time, no one can confirm a second sighting. They begin to believe it's Moby Dick, alluring them in order to finally turn on them in some remote place. Throughout the days ahead of this chase, Ahab silently and stoically watches. Continuing to develop the theme of authority and obedience, Ishmael discusses the fact that Captain Bildad and Captain Peleg, the Pequod's owners, would probably not have approved of Captain Ahab's going out on a whaleboat, and definitely would not have approved of his modifications to the fourth whaleboat or his hidden crew. Ahab has clearly made all these arrangements and secrets to avoid trouble with his employers. If Bildad and Peleg do not have authority over Ahab, then who does? Ishmael implies that Fadala, who is accompanied by his subordinate phantoms, may have influence or even authority over Ahab. It's all very mysterious. For the next stretch of ocean, Fadala does seem to take a guiding role, keeping lookout on high. Wearing a turban that Ishmael claims shares the sky with the moon all night, his sighting of the spirit spout results in the Pequod following it for several days into the troubled seas and windy conditions near the Cape of Good Hope. 